Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to create this cool widget on your home screen so that you can quickly access your apps via this widget. So you just tap on the widget and then it opens up the app for you. I really love the look of this. I think it adds something fun to your home screen and something just a bit different than just a regular app. And it's also very customizable. So you can import like custom icons for these. So it doesn't have to have that exact looks. You can have um, custom icons appear for each app. So what you're going to need is this app called Top Widget. It's a very nice widget app, which has a bunch of different types of widgets on the app. Um, but we're going to be using the one type of widget that this app has, which is the Quick Launcher. You have different styles of Quick Launchers that you can access on this app. They have a few that you can choose from. I'm just going to be going with this one for the sake of this video, but you can choose whichever one you want. And this is the layout they then have um, that you can customize your Quick Launcher in. So the layer you have here is your app icons. Then you can see the current app. So that's the app that you have selected at the top. Then you have the change image option, which we're going to be covering a bit later. Then we have your theme. So you have two options, the default one or one that looks kind of like pills. I don't really know how to explain it, but it looks really cool. It gives it this 3D type of effect. And then you also lastly have the option for a transparent background. So the first thing you need to do is select the apps that you want for your quick launcher. So you can change them. They have a set of apps that you can choose. Um, so I'm going to be going in and just changing all of the app icons to the apps that I want, but you can do whichever apps you want. So these are the apps that I went with. So I went with YouTube. Netflix, Disney Plus, and TikTok. Um, so these are kind of like entertainment based apps um, that I chose, but like I said, you can go with whatever you want. The only thing that I didn't like was how the YouTube um, app icon looked compared to the other apps because you couldn't really see the 3D effect with the theme because of the white coloring. So what I then ended up doing is I uploaded a custom image for YouTube so that it has more of a 3D look to it. So I just made it a darker background um, and you can just create this image on any app. I made mine on Fonto. You just need a very thin type of um, design and then just have your little app icon in the middle of that design and then you're good to go. And this is how it turned out. I really preferred this look over just the white because you couldn't get the effect of the 3D. Then what I wanted to do is create a transparent background. Now this is optional. You can just leave it as a white background or choose a picture. Um, but yeah, I prefer the look of a transparent background with these. I just think it makes it look more like a part of the UI um, rather than just a separate widget. So how you do this is you go to the transparent section at the home screen of the top widgets app. You'll see there is an area where you can upload a screenshot of your home screen. So how you get that screenshot is you just go out of the app, hold down on your phone until it goes to this jiggly edit mode and take a screenshot of a blank home screen so that it can clearly have the entire image of your home screen. Then you just go back into the app and upload that screenshot that you just took. And you can also from there also select if you have two different images for light mode and dark mode so that it changes um, appropriately. So if your wallpaper changes with light mode and dark mode that it will change at the appropriate time as well. So then you just set that and then you're good to go. So then you go back to your widgets, which you can find in the mine section. And then you can just go ahead and choose transparent and then select which position it should be. So this is a medium widget, which means it has three different positions, top, middle or bottom. Um, so I just selected top but you can just go with whatever wherever you're going to have this widget on your home screen. And then once you're happy with the look of your widget and you have all the right apps and themes and transparent backgrounds, then you can go ahead and add it to your home screen. So it's really easy. You just hold down on your phone until it goes into the edit mode. Go to the plus button in the top left corner and then go to top widgets widgets. Since this is a medium widget, I added a medium widget to my home screen. And then once that's added, you can tap on it and go ahead and choose the widget that you created in the app. Um, just make sure you select the right one. And um, then you're basically good to go. Then you have it set and you can have it on your home screen. This is what it looks like. The first time you're going to open up an app, it's going to ask you for permission to open the app because the app needs permission to open the other app. Um, but once you've done that the first time, then it will automatically just open it every single time. It does kind of suck that it goes into the top widgets app and then it goes into the app that you're opening. Um, but that's a sacrifice you have to make if you want this look on your phone. So yeah, that is how you create this cool custom quick launcher on your home screen of your iPhone. I really hope this video helped you guys out and you learned something new. If this video was helpful and you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. I'll leave a comment down below if you have any other questions or problems and I will try to reply to all of them. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other customization related videos. I have a, quite a few there and then you can also click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.